Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Clutch's Elusive Target Arcade Contract. This time we're going to be doing it with optimized equipment. So, all five levels will be done Silent Assassin, of course. I want to show you the easiest methods of doing each level. You opt using, you know, opt using all sorts of equipment, you know, utilizing all my inventory, basically. So, level one, we have the Bookkeeper. So, the complication for this one is all shot fighter NPCs must be headshots. We did a recent change where... Basically, all these other objectives are optional now. So, what we're going to do is start undercover in the uh, the explosive area. We're going to bring along a suppressed pistol, a lockpick, and a breaching charge. So, from the start point, we're going to run straight into this little shed here. And grab the propane flask. I'm going to use this to take out our target. So, that's what we're going to do first and foremost. We're going to run straight to the target from here. And he's going to be walking past like a, a 4x4 car and what we're going to do is drop the breaching charge not near the front of the car so once you get to the vehicle go into your inventory while with the propane flask in your hand highlight the breaching charge then select drop item that will drop the propane flask and the breaching charge at the same time then immediately what you want to do is act you know trigger it and it will set off uh, the propane flask and it will kill the target for an accident kill once we've done that we're going to put this disguise on from that truck Leap over this railing, avoid the camera here at the step of the door, and then head on upstairs. Be wary of the uh, the enforcer that's just patrolling around the landing. I'm going to come round to the other side to the bathroom, unlock the door with a lockpick. There's going to be another enforcer in the room, just be careful of him. Wait for his back to turn to you, enter the room, unlock the safe. This is where the ledger is going to be. Grab the ledger, that completes your second objective. And all we've got to do now is head to an exit. The only thing left we have to worry about is avoiding cameras. So we're just going to drop down here off the roof, climb down these stairs. There's an enforcer right here still. But there's a camera just above our exit, so we're just going to get behind these crates right here, shoot out the camera as we crouch, and then head straight to the exit right here. Boom. So it's a quick, easy sign assassin for level one, as long as you actually have the equipment, obviously. Uh, otherwise, it, you can't follow it. But if you are looking for default loadouts for all these, anyway, I've got I've already done them all, so you can check out that in the description if you want to check out that link for all the default runs of these. But that's how to get a Sant Assassin for a level one of the clutches. Now level two, it gets a lot much easier. So this is the the Forger from Paris, and against headshots only. We're going to start undercover in the AV Center. We're going to bring along any suppressed pistol you want to. I've chosen the ducky gun. Bring along a syringe and a coin. Done. From the very start, we're going to get behind these crates. Take out the camera. Going to run over here. Shoot out the camera on the opposite side. Now we're going to stop the forger from entering the room where he ends up hanging out for a while. So because we're ahead of him, like he's heading up the stairs right now with his bodyguard just behind him. So what we're going to do with this pistol is just drop it here, just in front of this door, as he's coming up the stairs. The forger is going to see the gun on the floor, that, and the guard he's going to tell the guard to take it away. That gives us an opportunity to syringe him. Now there's so many ways of doing this elusive target. This is just one of multiple ways of doing it. I mean, you could literally just go and poison the glass of wine that he drinks in the room, and just run straight to an exit if you want to, if you prefer. But, you know, I've never done this before in a video, so I thought I'd just put it out there. It's easy to do anyway, and it's not the slowest in the world. I'm going to close the door behind him as he comes in, syringe him, and then we can run straight to the exit. There we go. Target eliminated, poison kill. Easy. So there's a fair few elusive targets for this one. I think there's three overall for Paris for this particular arcade contract. I mean, I think Paris and Sapienza have had the most loose targets in those maps overall but uh, I'm not complaining these are relatively straightforward overall but yeah that's how you get a nice easy sign assassin for the forger in level 2 of the clutches Level 3, we have the Food Critic from Bangkok. So what we're going to do for this one, uh, we're going to start 
undercover as a security guard. We're going to bring along a suppressed pistol, bring along an ICA remote micro taser, or a breaching charge, whichever one you may have in your inventory. I recommend the micro taser because it's, you can't get spotted by it because it's undetected. So from the very start, we're going to grab this propane flask. We're going to use a propane flask method on one side because it's faster than pretty much any method out there. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to run straight to the target. He's going to be sitting on the table for pretty much uh, the entirety of this uh, the, of the time he's actually here. It's pretty annoying. He has a very, 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 very long loop. So what we're going to do is run over here, throw the propane flask on the floor like that, just so it bursts open. And then we're going to drop the micro taser right next to it. And then once we've got a little bit of a distance away from us, we're going to explode it. That's going to explode the propane flask the propane flask is going to take out the target and it's going to be an accidental kill so even though everyone's panicking and the body's been found it's an accident kill so we don't have to worry about it spoiling our silence as i'm rating so all good it's kind of cheap really a way of getting an accident kill but it is what it is it's a part of the game that's what i thought of take advantage of it because it's a fast way of doing this elusive target and pretty much doing it any other method is it takes a long time without all the distractions and stuff so to avoid all that I'll just go ahead and do that one but that's how you get a silent assassin for level three on the clutches of the food critic elusive target level four we have the uh, the blackmailer in paris we have to retrieve the memory stick that he dropped on the floor as well so we're going to start at the red carpet Suppressed pistol we're going to bring along with us, a lethal poison syringe, and we're going to have a briefcase, and inside we're going to have the remote emetic well, gas device stored in our briefcase. We're not going to activate that at the moment. We are actually, first of all, foremost, going to get ourselves a disguise. This is actually really easy. As long as you have the emetic gas device, you will not this in Haven Island. You will need the Hitman 2 access pass to unlock this if you don't have it already. But uh, there's multiple ways of actually doing it, taking out this target. I've got several guys on the channel if you want to go and check those out. So we're going to enter the basement right now, and there's going to be a stylist walking down the corridor. So while he's walking down, we're just going to activate this uh, gas device by taking it out of your briefcase, and then concealing it back into the briefcase that arms it inside the briefcase. That's how it happens. That's how it works. So he's going to head into this locker room, but before we do, we're just going to knock him out, drag his body and put him in the crate, and put his disguise on. Make sure you retrieve your briefcase. And now we're going to head straight to where the target is. He's going to be hanging around, getting his makeup done. All the other people, all the other models that are around. So we can come straight through here. You'll recognise him from his Superman haircut. You'll have like a curl on his fringe. But there he is right there. So what we want to do is make sure we activate this gas device when he's not near anybody else. So as long as we've got a little bit of a gap between him and anyone else, we can go stand next to him, set it off, and he'll head to the bathroom. Now the reason why we brought along a syringe with us instead of drowning him is because just where the bathroom is, there's a woman outside asking where the bathroom is to a security guard, and the security guard shows it into the bathroom. So. While that takes place, we'll be in the middle of drowning him, so we'll get spotted doing it. So you're better off taking him out as quick as you can. And that, how to do that is basically using the syringe. Because even though his body's definitely going to get found, it's not going to affect your silent assassin rating because it's a poison kill. So if we can't do an accident kill, we'll do a poison kill instead. That's the reason why I brought the syringe with me. There we go. Get him taken out. Grab the memory stick as well. And then we're going to pass through this section here and head to the exit. And once again, once we've completed this, we'd have a nice easy start assassin for a level four of this elusive target contract.
So level five, we have the Entertainer. He's available on uh, the Hitman 1 bonus map of Marrakesh. So we're going to bring along a sedative poison vial with us. Briefcase with the medic gas device in it again. That's what we're going to bring. Don't bring along a pistol with you. You don't need one and you have to get through a frisk zone. So I don't recommend bringing a press pistol because you're not going to get through that frisk zone. So un select it, so unequip it. On the very start, we're going to skip the opening panic shot and then we're going to straight through these... Uh, these stalls right here and we need to get into the cafe so to do that we need to grab ourselves an invitation so we're gonna jump over this wall we'll be in a trespassing zone right now but don't worry about it you're not getting spotted grab the invitation off the table show it to this guard so we can now enter the cafe and we need to bump into a woman a couple of times which is going to be this woman here in a black dress. So go ahead and bump into her so she gets a question of a mark above her head. And once she makes the second remark, go ahead and run over to this area over here. So we just need to delay her, that's all we're doing. So we're just delaying her by bumping into her and interrupting her routine. Next, we're going to come up over here, turn on this uh, the music radio to distract this uh, waiter. And then we turn it back off just so it doesn't distract anyone else after. So we're hidden in the crate right here. And we're going to knock him out. So exit the crate, knock him out. Drag his body, put him in the crate, and then put his disguise on. Make sure you still have your briefcase on you. And head over towards the bar. And then poison this glass of wine with a sedative poison. Now, if it was if you was too slow and she came over, you're gonna have to unfortunately just wait for her to loop around again and then poison that glass again. And just wait. Just be patient. It takes a couple of minutes. Just be patient. Or just go ahead and restart if you'd like. But uh, ultimately, she has the guest list, so we need to make sure that she's taken out. Don't worry, it's a sedative poison, so even though her body is found, you don't have to worry about it, her, you know, ruining your spot. A silent assassin. Go ahead and grab this truck key next, and then next we're going to arm the gas device. So go into your inventory, select the briefcase, take the gas device out of the briefcase, and then immediately conceal it back into the briefcase, and now you've armed the medic device inside the briefcase. Now we need to get this briefcase through a frisk zone. Now how you do that is essentially go up to this frisk zone over here, to the guard on the right, place the briefcase on the floor, don't drop it, place it, and then immediately go into the frisk. And if you do this, he'll grant you access, and then you can immediately pick up the briefcase, then enter. Now, next part is this door is locked, and the only way to get this door open is uh, the shopkeeper has to come over and open it for you. So you're just going to stand here, don't move, don't move at all. Just uh, wait for the shopkeeper to open this door. We've already got access, but if, as soon as you move, you're going to have to get frisked again. So that's so why I don't recommend moving. Just keep you still, and the shopkeeper will eventually just open this door for you momentarily. There we go. Now you're up here, what you're going to do now is head upstairs. Select the detonator out of your inventory and go up to your target. He's a dude with a hat and then gas him with the medic gas device. I mean, if you're feeling ballsy, you could use a syringe on him if you wanted to. Or use the gas device, right? And then once he's coming down halfway down the staircase, you can use your syringe on him. Or you could, if you brought a concealable pistol, you could probably shoot him on the head and get away with it if you get to an exit fast enough. But, you know, I don't really like to take too many risks when it comes to these guys, because ultimately, I have to make sure that you guys can follow along with me. I mean, right here is an opportunity for you to take him out right here on the staircase. I don't think anyone else comes back up. There is a crate at the bottom of the stairs, but I don't recommend dragging him down there, because um, you will get spotted by those two people there in the room. So he ultimately goes straight to a bathroom, so... I'm going to fast forward it to the point where he's actually getting into the bathroom and then we can take him out in there. Once you follow him all the way to the bathroom, make sure the door is closed and then go ahead and drown him. Alternatively, you can just knock him out and snap his neck, put him in the crate. Whichever one you want. Target down. But because that's an accident kill, as soon as you open the door, the body is found. But because it is an accident kill, 
you're gonna retain your assassin rate in anyway, so don't worry about it. Hey Tom, you do have to worry as if you didn't drown him. But once we've taken care of him, we can now head to our exit, which is gonna be the truck. It's just over here. Near where we started the mission. And once we've taken this exit, we've got a silent assassin for the entertainer. And that will conclude the clutches. Lose the target arcade contract. There we go. So that's going to do it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or if becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. Or clicking the link in the description. And if you're looking for a guide on how to do this with default loadout. As if you were the mastery level 1 player. Go ahead and check out the link at the end of this credits. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.